Тар талын та бэрүү улчин та төлөг сүултэй торм бүхтэй. Өнөд тарган уйг цатхлан сайхан шинэлж байна уу. I would love to welcome you to our new episode Цагаансар with my warmest holiday greetings. The Mongolian New Year aka Цагаансар in English, White Moon is the largest national and traditional festival celebrated for several centuries in the land of Chinggis Khan. Mongolians celebrate Tsagansar on the connection of the winter and the spring. The exact date is depends on the lunar calendar. Usually it's held a new moon day between January and February. Tsagansar is intensely family-oriented holiday. They make happiness to each other as they're well living to respect elders inspire youth and love younger ones people make dozens of short visits during the Tagansar days beginning with their parents and continuing order of the descending age when during the visit we have to follow special traditional rituals in a family today I will visit one another Mongolian beautiful family to show the rituals let's go Donald has not finished yet. <laughs> well, just stop by at my friend's family for the Tagan Sar. I'm just keeping doing the Zalzvart with the family. Ah, Sar Shinta Sarham the Top of Jano. Zalzvost is the very traditional formal greeting. You've just seen that two people holding up their arms, you know. The younger people's arms are placed under the elders' one to support their hands. It means really, really big respect. When you're doing the Zolzot with the people, we Mongolians always say Amrbeno. It means are you well and peaceful. In Tagansar festival, every people wear the hella tight traditional outfit. It's called the Dale. Hatak Blue Prayer Hatak. The giving of the Hatak is sign of deep respect and wishes good health and long life. I am not saying that I am not saying that I this is a hurg we call it the snuff bottle. In the snuff bottle, there is a snuff tobacco. I got one small pinch and then, oh, smell it. Feels so good. It's kind of aromatic snuff tobacco inside. The, usually the snuff bottles are made semi-precious stones. <laughs> Well, this is the milk tea and a silver bowl. 
when you have done the zolzwalt, I gotta sit on a table and then first I got served the milk tea. When you sit the table, there is a very special order of eating the uh, Mongolian cuisines. Saigansar itself is very impressive. You see that lots of different Mongolian cuisines are on the table. In this is a stack of large fried brick pastries. We called it Ozbo or Hivimbo. On the top of the Ozbo, you can see the lots of different types of the dairy products. This is the symbol of the Tsagansar. I should taste. Next to the Hivimbo, there is a oats. Oat is a whole sheep back with the fatted tail and then served in a tagansar table. It's steamed one, flavored with only salt. Itself is very delicious. Yeah, family man slices the oats and then piece of slices should be served all of the people in the family. Whoa! You know, you see that? Meat and fats. Mm. So tender and fresh. It's so delicious. We Mongolians have really, really exotic and fresh meat itself. Very delicious one. Don't have to flavor them. <laughs> It's a boat time, man. You know, mutton filled steamed dumpling. We call it boats. I got four pieces, so. Boat is always cool, especially during the Tsagansar. The family make tons of boats for the Tsagansar. And in that time, we gotta find out the best boats in Mongolia. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> Once the country has extremely cold winter, Families prepared the boats at least a couple of weeks prior to the festival and left outside to freeze, which makes it easier to store. A family with elders makes an average of 1,000 boats for the guests. Well, guys, this is the Eric fermented horse milk. I hope I got a chance to try it. If you are left-handed, that's a problem in this ritual. You have to receive everything from your right hand. Cheers, man. Let me try some air. I love the sours, mate. This is the air. Beautiful. <laughs> Fermented mare's milk, also known as Eric or Kumis, is the traditional beverage of Mongolia. It's slightly sour and contains up 2 to 3% of alcohol. 
Yeah. Well, after eating a couple more bowls, the shimming air is so helpful to digest. Cheers! Tsagansar is the only festival that allows people to taste and try all traditional Mongolian cuisines at the same time. We Mongolians cannot imagine any festival without songs. It's a kind of singing time. Thank you so much spending with the one another beautiful Mongolian Sagansar days. See you for the next episode. Tabuku Sagan Shinpere. Tabi Sagansar.